Hey, it's Mark Baird in Miami, Florida. Thanks for stopping by and uh, checking out my video here. So let's talk about a content marketing tool called Tribe Pro. It claims to be able to get your website on the first page search engine results for Google and Bing and the other search engines, right? But they claim to be able to do it in such a short period of time, it's actually kind of hard to believe. I mean, really, come on, guys. <laughs> now, you may be one of those wannabe marketers who's just kind of dipping your big toe into the ocean of online marketing or I mean, maybe you're already an internet marketer who already is getting good results from that content marketing you're doing, but would love to be able to automate your results and maybe just push a button and generate those thousands of backlinks you need to rank your content rather than having to go through this time consuming process of building the backlinks to your site using article marketing or reciprocal link exchanges or something like that, right? I mean, let's face it, in the world of online marketing, there's so much to do. It seems like you'd never get it all done. You know what I mean? So the very idea of a push button, automated backlink builder that could generate several thousand backlinks to your content in a heartbeat and help get it ranked, it's beyond exciting, it's kind of intoxicating. <laughs> Sign me up. So when I first looked at TribePro and I read through the typical glowing reports on the website, the testimonials, you know, those long pages in which everybody's saying, oh, it's great, it's wonderful, right? Yeah, okay. But it is exciting. When I read through their website, my wallet was already open. I had my credit card in hand. I mean, good grief, it can actually do that stuff. Who wouldn't want it? So I decided to put it to the test. So in this review, I want to examine the mechanics of how TriPro actually works, and if it in fact does work, or if it's just more internet hype designed to make a few bucks off, I mean, every desperate online marketer and then quietly disappear into the void when the results don't show up. We've all seen those too, right? Now, first of all, let's get some basic search engine SEO strategies down because it's important to understand what you got to do to make a tool like Tribe Pro actually work for you. So how do you rank on search engines? Well, the first thing you got to do is you got to do uh, on-page SEO of any material that you're going to post. So if you're putting up a blog post, right, uh, to be able, you want to get, you want it to be able to rank first based on the strength of what's actually on your page. That means you have to pay attention to proper use of your keyword on your target website. Now remember that certain keyword factors such as having the keyword in the title of your post, very important, and also in the domain can make a huge difference in showing up and ranking. Okay. Also make sure your keyword density, which is the frequency of how often your keyword appears in your article, is high enough. Usually one or two percent is just fine. You got to have that to get ranked just on the strength of the page itself. Now this can take a little training, but if you're if you do it properly, it'll make a huge difference. And if you're using a WordPress self-hosted blog, right? WordPress.org, right? You can actually kind of shortcut, sh shortcut the entire process and learning curve by using a tricky little plugin called SEO Presser, which pretty much does it all for you. So if you want a little guideline and a training on how to do that, uh, go to my blog, smarkbarrett.com and, and check out uh, the, the tools that I have there. It's pretty killer, by the way. So the next thing you do after you do your on-page SEO optimization is you want to create backlinks that point to your site. Now, even if you rank, and I've seen this happen time and time again, you do a killer post, you really pay attention to on-page SEO, your page hits the first page of Google the next day. You're just stoked. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm in number two. Wow, this stuff really works. And then you go back the next day to show somebody and it's gone. And you look and you look and it's 30 pages back. Uh, what happened, right? Well, the Google algorithm loves new material, right? But you were new yesterday. It's not, it's not new today anymore, right? So to be able to keep your content in place, now you got to start creating backlinks to it, right? Typically you do that with article marketing strategy. Now, the third pillar of success in getting ranked is you need to share your content and get it out on as many social book and get as many social bookmark backlinks as you can pointing back to your original content. Now, what are social bookmarks? I knew you'd ask. <laughs> Well, social bookmarking sites are really all over the internet. You've probably seen them, you know, Bebo, Delicious, Friend Feed, Google Bookmarks, Stumble Upon Dig, just to name a few, they're social bookmarking sites. They actually came about um, as kind of an interesting or a convenient way to actually keep track of all the things you normally bookmark. Because what was happening is, as we cruised around the internet and we saw interesting articles or interesting pages and things like that, what happens is that we went in and we saved them to our favorites, right? Ooh, that's really cool. Save it, save it, right? And then if you were got to be really good at doing that, you ended up with your browser favorites being so overloaded that even if you put them in different folders, you couldn't keep track of them. You could never find anything that you had previously saved, right? So 
what happened was uh, social bookmarking sites evolved to be able to fill a need there. And so it gave you an external website that you could go cruising around and say, that's a cool article, save that to one of your social bookmarking sites and put a couple tags in like a great article on nutrition, great article on vitamins, right? And then you could later go back and do a search, boom, and there was your article. Okay, so you could find anything you'd store. Now that was the original intent. However, since social bookmarking creates an actual link, physical link, on an external website that points back to the original media, it in effect created one of the most valuable commodities in existence to an online marketer, which is a backlink. So that means that social bookmarking can actually be used to create SEO backlink juice to your website. So now, second phase, let's talk about social bookmark sharing services. There are a number of these on the internet, but the one we're gonna discuss is OnlyWire, which is the biggest one, right? This allows you to go out and use multiple social bookmarking sites. Let's say you want to use 10 or 15 of them, but it's kind of time consuming to go in and save all your stuff to all 15 of those sites. So you can set up an account with OnlyWire and it'll post your social bookmarking links out to as many as 50 social bookmarking sites, which includes Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, all with one click of a button. So boom. So what you can do, it gives you a little bit of leverage, right? Uh, because what you can do is if you're trying to create content back to your blog or links back to your blog post, you sign up an OnlyWire account and then you push that link out to 50 social bookmarking sites that you've set up an account with, you now have 50 links that all point back to your blog post. Cool, huh? That's a little leverage, but we need a lot more to really create the effect we want. So now we turn to a service called Tribe Pro, which can leverage and compound the effects of OnlyWire by, you ready for this, about a thousand percent. Now, Tribe Pro is a co-op that uses the OnlyWire service. And when you set up an account, you can actually share social bookmarks of others within the system by posting their links to your social bookmarking sites. And in return, this is the good part, they agree to share use, uh, your links through their accounts. Now, Tribe Pro is divided into, obviously, tribes, right, or groups. And when you subscribe to the service, you just join one of the multiple tribes and then agree to sharing agreements with other members of the tribe. Now you do this just by you follow other members, right? Just like you would do if you're building a subscriber base in Twitter. The difference is that in addition to following other members, you can click, click a button and agree to auto syndicate their social bookmarks. Now that means that if you auto syndicate, let's say Betty, she posts an article on her blog about nutrition and then shares it through TribePro, it automatically gets posted out to not only her 50 social bookmarking accounts through OnlyWire, but also through your 50 accounts. So Betty gets 100 links rather than 50. Sweet, huh? Now, imagine if you had, let's say, 100 TribePro members that were auto-syndicating your content. You do a blog post and share it on OnlyWire to your 50 accounts. Since your 100 tribe members are auto-syndicating you, it would automatically go out to their accounts as well, creating as many as 5,000 social bookmark backlinks with one push of a button. Sweet. Now this can create, well, an incredible amount of link juice, backlinks, uh, that can push your rankings up really quickly on search engines. And that's the concept of really how it works, right? So how do you get tribe pro followers? Well, to get a lot of followers and auto syndicators, it's actually pretty easy on TribePro. There have been a number of other reciprocal systems like this, always using tribe in their name, that were you know, social tribes and stuff on the internet. Uh, same concept over the last few years. However, one of the flaws in the other systems that I saw was that they were all generally based on whether or not somebody actually liked your material. So you had to be, in fact, a good writer to make it work. If you weren't really good, nobody would syndicate your material and it sure didn't work for you. Now with TribePro, the interesting thing is it's all based on reciprocity. It's not based on content. That's the key right there. It's not based on your content it's based on reciprocity, right? So if you're pushing out bookmarks to dozens of social bookmarking sites that you will probably never use anyway, right? Who's gonna to go to Bebo, right? And no one is probably ever gonna go there anyway. Does it really matter what kind of content you're storing there as links? Probably not, right? So when you enroll in a tribe and follow an auto syndicate 100 tribe members, you will usually find that uh, probably 99% of them immediately follow an auto syndicate you back. Really, the majority of them will. Now you have a tribe working for you and killer leverage going on. Now, there are some different costs in Time Pro. There's like three different accounts. There's a free account. Basically, it's a waste of time. Just don't even do it, right? Because with a free account, um, you don't have the functionality to auto syndicate. 
That's the whole purpose of the system. So don't even waste your time signing up. There's TriPro Plus, which is about 40 bucks a month. And that gives you pretty much full functionality of the system, allows you reciprocal linking and the whole thing. Or you may want to go for the full boat, which is, you know, the uh, pro account, which is 80 bucks a month. That gives you full functionality, but it also allows you to start your own tribe, right? You can name it after you. I can have the Mark tribe. And it's a great way to, I mean, you can get additional leads through it because every time somebody signs up for your particular tribe within the system, um, then you're going to get their email address and they're on a list of yours and you know they're involved in online marketing or network marketing, right? So it may be worth it for you to do that too. Other costs, you're really only looking at, you have to have an OnlyWire account and OnlyWire has a free account, but once again, don't waste your time. Uh, you need to probably set up a minimum account with OnlyWire for probably 13 bucks a month, right? You can go look at their website for details, right? Now tips, marketing tips. Look, there's tons of training within Tribe Pro. Uh, to help you get up and running really quickly. Um, but to really look at getting some of the tips that'll make your functionality and make a big difference in how many links you get and stuff like that, you have to go and check out my full blog review that I did on Tribe Pro, which just use the link down below here from the, down below the video, go back to my blog and check out the full post, right? So what to post on Tribe Pro? Well, everything, <laughs> everything that can benefit from having social bookmark backlinks, which is in fact everything. Your blog content every time you do an article on your blog. Now you can actually set up uh, a functionality within Tribe Pro so that every time you post something on your blog, it pushes it out to Tribe Pro automatically without you having to go there. Nice. YouTube content. Anytime you're putting you, uh, videos on YouTube, you can push them out through uh, Tribe Pro, create backlinks to your video, and get it ranked within YouTube. That works too. Easy video player. I like EVP too. I think it's a killer uh, video uh, tool. And uh, so I push my EVP through there also. EasyNarticles.com. I post on EasyN Articles, right? It has an enormous amount of internal traffic. So you can rank within EasyN Articles based on creating backlinks back to your EasyN Articles content. You should actually use a publishing scenario where you're publishing on each of these different um, websites and then pushing links back through Tribe Pro to each one of them. My Lead System Pro. If you're using the online marketing system like I do with My Lead System Pro, they have an article directory in the back of that. Take your content after you post it on your blog, put it in My Lead System Pro, push back links back through Tribe Pro. Right? Incredible. So I guess you can pretty much guess that it works. I mean, I've had a lot of first page rankings on the search engines of Google, and Tribe Pro is really an important part of my marketing arsenal. Right? Now, my standard approach is to follow the core strategies of optimizing for on-page SEO factors first, and then uh, you know posting to Tribe Pro right after that because that's instantaneous, followed by article marketing campaigns to seal the deal. However, I've seen my content hit the first page of the search engines many, many times just based on on-page factors and Tribe Pro. Pretty amazing, huh? So once again, for the tips and for my, uh, I have a, actually a full training that goes over the whole process of exactly how you use Tribe Pro in video. Uh, once again, click on the link down below and it'll take you right to it. Anyway, hope this has been useful information for you. Go out there and make it happen. Mark Barrett in Miami, Florida. Bye.